What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Today is Sunday, August 13th, day number 12 inside the Big Brother house. And uh, we've got uh, some stuff to go over. Not a lot, <laughs> but we'll go over why we don't have a lot here in just a second. Uh, where we left off after. Uh, yesterday's update was we had our nominations by HOH Heisum. He nominated Cameron and Riley even after Cameron's brilliant plan to rat out his eight person alliance that he was in and get Riley to go beg for forgiveness. Somehow they still ended up on the block. I don't know how that happened. Uh, Riley was Heisum's main target. Headed into this week, but many of the people on Heisum's side of the house would actually prefer Cameron to be gone. So that's something to keep an eye on here. Uh, we also had Jared come back from the nether after he was down there for a long period of time yesterday. When he came back, he was able to send Jag down, which made him safe for the week, which is an interesting little concept here where sometimes the nether will let you skip something bad. Sometimes it will make you skip something good, which we'll also get to in a bit here with today's update. Uh, once Jag returned, him and Blue actually ended up making a final two deal, even though he already had one with Riley. And the two of them really realize at this point, their side of the house is such a sinking ship that it's actually better for them not to save Riley this week if they were to win HO8 or win Veto. Because it would be like cutting off their leg uh, despite themselves. So, uh, which is a crazy concept when you think about it, that numbers are so huge in this game and the lines are so split. They really would need to keep Riley, but they can't even see how valuable and important it is to keep all the numbers possible. Um, that takes us to this morning, which uh, we ended up getting a few things happen. First of all, uh, Jag had to send someone to the nether. He ended up choosing Bowie, which meant that she would not be able to compete for the veto. I actually wonder if he would have been able to pick one of the nominees. Did he have to pick somebody that wouldn't be competing in the veto? Not 100% sure how that all really worked out, but Jag sent Bowie to the nether. As far as we know, she's still in there. We never got the feeds back to uh, fully know. If Bowie is in the house, if she's still in the nether or what that means, but she would not be able to compete in veto since she was in the nether. The picks for the veto were America Blue and Matt. So uh, everyone from Riley and Cameron's side of the house, which normally you would think, oh, that's great. But they're also the type of people that are the possible replacement nominees if Riley or Cameron were to come down. Uh, we also had, speaking of the potential replacement nominees, Heisel kind of rethinking. So originally going in, obviously, Riley was his number one target, and then he was thinking about putting up Cameron and Matt. And we kind of thought that, you know, maybe he would want to go after Corey since, you know, that's someone he had uh, a lot of issues with. Uh, if uh, he couldn't get Riley out, maybe he would want to put Corey up there, but it doesn't seem like he wants to do that right away. That talk he had with Corey uh, just uh, the other day seems like they actually will maybe start working together. At the very least, just kind of being like, hey, we don't have to go after each other right now. There's no reason we have to do the dirty work. Let's let others do the dirty work for us. Uh, so it seems actually now that if Riley were to come down, Heisen would actually like Matt to go up as the replacement and be voted out. The issue is. Izzy and Sari would rather Cameron grow either way, whether Riley stays up there or not. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all kind of develops on where things go. Because if Riley isn't on uh, the block, then it will probably be easier for Izzy and Sari to be like, listen, like, let's just put the guy you put up originally there. The person you put up as the replacement, you can say, like, I had no choice. I had to put you up. I'm sorry. You know, that kind of a thing. At least get the person you originally put up with the intention of, you know, getting them out of the house. Why go for that backdoor option when you can get rid of Cameron, who not only is 
the strategic threat as far as Sariga is concerned. It's kind of a personal issue with Izzy. She really doesn't like Cameron. <laughs> and Cameron also has been making some waves. So there was something else. Cameron brought up today, which was kind of interesting. He has a little bit of a theory. See, now Cameron, Cameron believes there is someone in the house that has a secret relative. Little does he know he's partially right. This continues the theme of Cameron getting something somewhat right. He'll be right about something, but he throws out so much garbage that most of it is wrong. <laughs> So Cameron thinks that someone is secretly a relative to someone famous in the house. In fact, he believes that Felicia. He believes that Felicia is Denzel Washington's sister. <laughs> Which is just mind blowing uh, that that's where what he thought, like of all things, like I bet that she's Denzel Washington's sister. <laughs> Just wild. And little does he know there actually is a relationship inside the house. There's family members in there right now. But yet he doesn't see it and he's wrong. It's wonderful to watch Cameron just be like, oh, so right, but oh, so wrong uh, at every turn of this game. Other than that, though, the feeds went down for the veto competition. And they've been down ever since. They went down around two-ish. Uh, and ever since, we got nothing. Just been the animal pets. The worst part about this that really kind of sucks is there's no communication, right? They don't let us know anything. It, it could be very simple. Hey, the comp's taking longer than we, they, we expected. There was a new twist uh, that's going on. And that's why we can't show you the feeds right now. Uh, now we start to wonder, maybe something bad happened, right? Maybe somebody got injured. Maybe, you know, something crazy happened where they had to shut down for a little bit. Like, we don't know. And it almost makes you worry a little bit. Like, is everything okay? Give us something, right? You don't even have to give us a, a estimated time that you'll be back. Just say, like, hey, feeds are down. We know. Like, you know, if there's information to share, we will let you know. But this lack of of just any communication at all uh, makes it really kind of frustrating on what's going on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as I'm recording this, there is still no live feeds. I might have to borrow the time laser again from Frankie, Brittany and uh, Danielle. But, uh, you know, we'll see how things turn out. What do you guys think is going on in the house? How much longer do you think the feeds will be we down? Uh, hopefully we get them after uh, tonight's episode. But the problem is with that is I don't think the feeds being down, if it is part of a twist, would be something that's revealed on Sunday's episode. If this was a twist they're trying to hide, we won't have feeds until Wednesday's episode because that's when the veto would be airing. So how long are feeds going to be down here for? Is it just that they're trying to keep something secret from us? Uh, is it something, you know, bad that's happened in there? Hopefully not. But like when you don't have any information, your mind just kind of wanders and you're like, what's what could this be? So, yeah, we have no clue. Uh, again, I will add on to this uh, an addition, a little addendum, uh, if you will. If we get any updates, if the feeds come back uh, very early in the morning uh, before this video goes live. But other than that, let me know what you guys think. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. I, 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 I know I say you never miss a stream. And then you're like, Ori, you never stream. Why aren't you streaming? You should stream more. And I, I agree. <laughs> So I will be live today uh, before the episode. Uh, once the episode starts, we'll raid over into my good buddy Bruno. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe you'll see some cool stuff there that maybe you would like to watch if you are a fan of this channel. You catching my drift? Yeah. If you're working for Derek, don't show up. Um, but yeah, come on and hang out with us. We'll be over on Kick and Twitch and then we'll end up raiding over uh to uh, kick exclusively 
uh, once the start of the show starts. So you're going to want to come hang out with that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you uh, so much for being here. I wish we get the feeds back sooner or later. And if we do before this video is live, I'll see you in just a second. If not, I will see you during the stream. Come on and hang out. I'm probably going to be live uh, eventually when you watch this, at least a little bit later.